Sean, it's all about the C4 tournament. It's all about that Emerald Crown Championship. And Paul, I am excited. I have been excited all week about this match. The history between these two men. This is going to be a cracker. It's like no one. For those of you keeping score at home, whenever you're watching this on the RCW YouTube channel, I want you to think this fact. This man is less than 24 hours removed from defending the MCW Championship in Melbourne against a competitor of no less stature, no less power than the beast himself, Caveman Ugg. And yet he is here right now at the top of the arc of our ready to compete, to add another title to his illustrious trophy cabinet. This is the Ring of Honor star that is still here in Australia. The greatest pledge of all time, Adam Brooks. Well, exactly proving why he is the man that he is, Sean, right here tonight. Look, does that give Chris Basso the advantage? Yes. He did wrestle last night. As you said, Adam Brooks was in Melbourne taking on caveman, ugg of all people. Well, Paul, it absolutely gives Chris Basso the advantage against anybody who's not Adam Brooks. There is no such thing as an advantage against Adam Brooks. You can be the size of Caveman Ugg. You can be the speed of Chris Basso. You don't have any advantage over the man who, as far as I'm concerned, is the personification of wrestling in this country. Well, we're about to get underway. These two men have two points each. They both had the victory on the first round. So whoever wins here right now, Sean, takes a big leap in the C4 tournament. What's going on here with that? Is Chris having uh, some uh, malfunctions, uh, wardrobe malfunctions? There, there's, there's almost always a wardrobe malfunction when world class comes into it. It's just whether it's deliberate. Yeah, is there anything in my boots? 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 Is there both these men are absolute veterans of the sport, and not just in terms of in ring competition, but in mind competition also. Brooksy not phased at all. Basso have his time. Well, we're officially underway. Match two here tonight for the C4 tournament. As I said, both men have two points each so far in the tournament, and that's what it's all about. At the end of this tournament, having the most points to have a shot at that Emerald Crown Championship. I want to give a big shout out now to one of RCW's faithful, one of our alumni, one of our biggest fans, the Beast of the East himself, Todd Eastman, who once managed both these men as part of the notorious stable known as Team Eastman. That was when we saw the first fracture in their relationship and saw them go up against each other for the first time. Well, I know he'll be certainly at home watching this one, Sean, and he'll be like the rest of us, looking forward to it. going to be an absolute chess match. Oh. We talked about everybody in the C4 Grand Prix has their specialty. Frey is the striker. Who 
Puma is the grappler. Brooks is the high flyer. Basso, well, Basso's a bit of everything. He can do it all. Absolutely, and here he goes, twisting his way out, reversing it on Adam Brooks into the hammerlock. Now quickly spinning him round in that front face lock, takes him down to the mat, tries to take that, that pace of the match already to a slow, steady pace to get started. Over there. The first time I ever saw Chris Basso wrestle for was at a comic book convention where he was mimicking the styles of other famous wrestlers. That's how good Chris Basso is. He doesn't just copy what they do, he improves upon it. He makes it his own. Look at that. He's got Adam Brooks all twisted up in the legs, nowhere to move for, for Brooksy. And now using his head for additional leverage. Wow! Oh, almost a, a modified chancery type move. He's putting all the pressure on the ball in the neck. Well, yeah, absolutely, he's got his own head pushing down on that uh, in that neck of Adam Brooks. Brooks now able to reverse it, puts that arm bar on, sends him into the ropes. Oh, big shoulder block by the Sea Bass. If Brooksy is the personification of Australian wrestling, then nobody means more to South Australian wrestling than Chris Basso. He and his brother Matt built this company from the ground up with their own two hands, continue to run it to this day. And yet Chris is still in the ring competing and getting kicked in the head. Look out. And in comes Brooksy. Oh. Chris out the way. Now, oh. oh. One man going for a pump handle kick. It was a bicycle type effect. One going for a drop kick. Oh, no. We know what comes next. Brooks, he can't help himself. He's got to fly. Here he goes. Over the top. Oh! To the outside here at the top of the arc. Thought for a minute Chris had managed to catch him and keep his footing, but no. How does a man do that less than 24 hours removed from another match? Uh, absolutely phenomenal is Lee Gloat. Adam Brooks, here he goes. Springboards off the middle rope. But gets caught by the pure strength of Chris Basso. Time. Sends him up. No, Brooks, he floats over. Rolls him up. Oh, just the two for Brooks. All the strength in uh, Basso pushing him off of that leg. Into the ropes. In comes Brooks. Wow. That four up. Ah, Brooks, he was ready for that. These two men know each other so well. Oh. Sends him to the outside forearm, catches Brooks. Ooh. Brooks now takes the feet from Basso. Look out. Sends him to the outside the hard way. Very hard way. A seated dismount. Come on, Come on, Come on, Adam Brooks taking that uh, slight advantage of a rest, but not for long. Heads to the outside, big kick to Seabass. Will someone in the back row please pick up Chris Basso's teeth and return them to reception? One. <laughs> Brooks are taking his time. It's not a waste of time here for the mark of a veteran competitor. Catching his breath. Using the outside oh. leg to his advantage. Dropping him right on the outside on his back now. Sends old mate Seabass back in the ring. Adam Brooks climbing up to that second turnbuckle. Measuring his opponent and got all of it. Hooks that leg. And you know, no matter how fast Adam Brooks moves, no move is in haste. He measures every single one, Sean. Always measured, always calculated, always prepared. And look, to the entire Ring of Honor locker room, look out. As soon as the global basket is dealt with, you're going to have Brooksy on your hands, and uh, that's more than you can handle, is what I'm going to say. Oh, for sure, and in he comes. Big chop right in the corner. Now snap is Basso out of the corner. Drop kick boot just right to the side of the head. Almost a little love tap there. And he knows he's not going to get the call oh, with that. Absolutely. He knows it's just a matter of psychological warfare. You want to play your games at the start of the game, at match three, you can play my games now. Adam Brooks now in control of this match. Oh, look out. Seabass just draw breaker on. The sooner you set it, Paul, and the tide turns. It's the calibre of world class Chris Basso and the calibre of Adam oh. Brooks. Oh. Did you hear the thud from that one? This big Basso family chops those educated Brooks feet. And Brooks, he's just taken that advantage, taking the feet from Basso himself. 
Vassar letting Gravity be his co-pilot. Taking a moment as Brooksy did a little while ago. Suck that wind. Vassar using all the strength to send him up and letting him fall down. Now sends the head into the top turnbuckle. Oh. As you said, Paul, two points each. He's ready to see for G1 Grand Prix. Oh, Brooksy quickly turning this around. A clear two-point advantage for the winner. Oh. Well, could these somehow these guys end up in a draw? I'll tell you what, if any match could end up in a draw, it's these two. Move for move, counter for counter, strength for strength. Oh! Hard in the corner now. Basso heading to the second turnbuckle. Big drop kick catches Brooks. Gotta love him. There's only one world class. End of the cover. Maybe a bit long taken for that cover there, Sean. Maybe he needed that time to recover himself, Paul. He wouldn't know. Some wrestlers taunt, others taunt to give themselves the advantage. Here we go. Oh, quickly reversed by Brooks. Drops the head. Wow. Too soon. A rare mistake from Adam Brooks. Sees him on the wrong side of the ropes. Oh, look out. Basso revving up to go. Oh. No, Ducks under. Wait. Can't avoid them all. He, he, he pumped out Adam Brooks a couple of times. Going into the head of the globe. One more, Basso. What did you do to my I might have to take back something I said earlier, Paul. I said you can never get the advantage over Adam Brooks. It looks wow. like Chris Basso has found a way to do that. He, he's uh, certainly in control right now at the moment, Sean, and, and the most control we've seen in this match so far. Very much so, Paul. Maybe Chris Basso has finally unlocked the key to taking out the globes. Here he comes. Oh! Oh! Into that turnbuckle. And again, no sooner said than reversed. And it was quicker. Whoa. Oh, again, Basso. Brooksy. Oh. This is too quick to call. <laughs> These guys as quick as a hiccup. Oh. oh. <laughs> Nailed him oh, right man. on the chin. And a deserved show of respect there from the residents here in attendance at the top of the arc. The Arkaba Hotel in South Australia. These two guys have put everything on the line here for the C4 tournament. Who will be the man that walks away with that extra two points tonight and be the clear leader thus far in the tournament? Seven! Eight! The event of a double count out, as you said, Paul, will be one point apiece. I don't think either of those men would be satisfied with that at all. Oh! These two guys are just trading blows. Brooksy striking high and low, stomach and head. Basso just going straight for the smashing forearm across the face. About six, eight repeated shots. Oh! As you said, those Basso family chops. Oh, pump kick catches the side of the head. That's the kick Basso wanted earlier. No, wait. My God. Right to the side of the head from Adam Brooks. Now, I Chris. Know, that was instinct or, you know, accident. Uh, that Brooks, I, you know, Basso rolled out. I, I think more the instinct to get out of the ring there, Sean. But here comes Adam Brooks through the ropes to the oh outside. Wow, into that DDT on the outside. Oh my God, did you hear that impact? Senior referee Michael Kent needs to check on Chris Basso. Oh, he's absolutely. unconscious right now. Has he got a neck lift after that one? Basso's in a bad, bad way. Brooks, he looks to capitalize. Oh, and again. Right on the top of his head. That's got to be it. Goes for the cover in the middle of the ring. Hooks the legs. Oh. How was that a two count? How does Chris Basso have a working spine after that? After the shot on the outside, then straight back with another DDT on the inside. How is Chris Basso kicking out of this? Brooksy now 
going to what he knows best. Top rope. What's that Swanton bomb? Bass is in the wrong position though. He's to his feet. Oh, here he goes. Tries to ride him down to the mat, but Basso catches him up on the shoulders. Ah, Pooksy able to work his way out of that predicament. Pushes Basso back into the corner, takes the win from him. Big kick. Brooksy propping Chris Basso up onto that top turnbuckle. This is going to be the stage where you're wondering what the heck he actually got to do. Oh, oh here we go. Oh, no. Chris Basso knew it was coming. He's got out of there. Oh, Brooksy counters again, rolls through. Two. Oh. Gets blocked. Oh, did I see a tooth go flying from Adam Brooks? I'm sorry, that was death. Cover. One, two. two. Still just a two kill. How are these guys at this stage of the match still going, Sean? Paul, we are seeing an absolute wrestling classic right here at the top of the arc. Action like you'll only see it at Riot City Wrestling. Now Basso oh. trying to set him up for the package pile driver. Can he get it? With a Sega Mega Driver. You can see Brooksy blocking that one. Oh, but got caught with a forearm. Sends him back into that corner. Brooksy is rocked. I think only the corner's holding him up right now. Yeah, Let's go, Brooksy! Here goes Chris. Ba oh, no. Tries to send him across. Brooks hanging onto that throat. Breaks the hold. Catches him with the boot. Oh, nobody home for Basso. He's going to capitalise. It's got to be now. No, Basso ready for it. And oh, with the bridge. the bridge. Rolls through. Still hanging on. Got him up, but Brooks over the back. Oh. I think that was a mistake on Basso's part. He should have gone for the pin there. He's left himself right over. Oh. Shotgun drop kick into the corner. And now Brooks, he's on a roll. Oh, this could be it. He's got to capitalise. He's got to do it now. Brooksy two points. heading to the top of the arc. Swanton gets caught with the boots. He's up, Basso now. Got it with the Mega Driver. The Sega Mega Driver caught him into the cover. Two. Try, oh, come on. Brooksy I thought that was kicked three. out. Brooksy kicked out. Oh. When was the last time you saw somebody kick out of the Mega Driver? I thought that was it. I thought we were done. I don't know, I've ever seen anyone kick out of the Mega Driver Paul. We are in absolute undiscovered territory. You can right see now. the disbelief on the face of world class Chris Basso. That's the move that's won him four RCW championships. He's waiting for Adam Brooks to get to his feet. Oh! Wow. Right across the face. Basso is mad. Brooks is in trouble, Sean. Brooks, I don't think he's even conscious. Oh, not now. Maybe that match last night is costing Adam Brooks. Oh, oh, buckle buster. Brooks, where does he come from? Where did that come this? from? Oh, oh, my God. Here he goes again. No, sit down, powerbomb into so the cover. Vicious. Two, three. Yeah. Is that two count again? That was three. Two count again. Oh, oh my God. Well, everyone on this side of the arena, Sean. Said it was a three count. Uh, the, the, the crowd on the other side is not having that same reaction. Obviously, Brooks got that shoulders up. Unbelievable. I hope our cameraman managed to get multiple angles of that. Wow. Everyone in the Arkabar just can't Blue believe it. This match. Adam Brooks will not go quietly into that good night. Oh, we, we knew that wouldn't happen, Sean, but wow. What is Basso planning now? He's got these, to bring these out the guys, artillery. The, these guys have got to be running on empty, Sean. What's he got left, though? 
What does he have left in the cupboard? What is this? What is he trying to do with him up on the... Oh, surely oh. not. He's got... He's trying to put Brooksy up on his shoulders. Brooksy knows he's got to fight his way out of this because it's... It's not going to end well for Adam Brooks. Brooks is all tied up in the corner now. It's not good. Wow. This is not good. They're heading right to the top of the arc. Basso 360 back to the canvas. What the hell was that? Brooks the legs. Two. Oh, wow. Are you kidding me? I didn't even know what Brooksy hit him with there. Just a two count. Come on. Paul, we're still in the first half of Eye for an Eye. Oh. <laughs> we're still in the first half of the show. I cannot believe this. Residents on YouTube, I hope you appreciate what you're seeing right now. This is, no pun intended, world-class professional wrestling on your screen right now. Now Adam Brooks sends Chris Basso back into that top turnbuckle, shoulder blocks right to the midsection. As I said, these guys, the gas tank's got to be running low. They've got to be getting close to empty, Sean. Paul, it's matches like this, it's moments like this that make events like the C4 Grand Prix that make titles like the Emerald, Emerald Crown. Crown so worthwhile. Oh, Brooksy, look out for that light box. You could be aired on that. Is he going to... Oh, my God, no. No, Basso hangs onto the ropes. Wow. Not now he's not. Oh, on the back of the neck, but I think Brooksy's knee and thigh took the brunt of that in a way he didn't expect. Brooksy trying to get his leg back into it. What the hell? Oh, my God. On the outside. He's got to be dead after that. God! Paul Roberts, you said it best. He's got to be dead after that. But Brooks, he's not taking any chances. He's going to finish it his way. Spots it oh. And surely. Two, three, the bell. Wow. Adam Brooks. I can't believe it, Sean. What a match. What a tournament. What do you say after that? How do you put that into words? Well, the words I'm going to tell you, well, how I'm going to put it, is Adam Brooks has now four points in the C4 tournament. He is the clear leader going forward for that Emerald Crown Championship. He is one step closer to the newest prize in Riot City Wrestling. It's been a hellacious, not even 24 hours for the greatest legend of all time. Two big victories over two of the country's best, their absolute best. And Chris Basso, nothing to be ashamed of, Paul. What a phenomenal effort there by world class. And Brooks, he knows it. All right, he's trying to grab uh, Chris Basso, bring him back in the ring. He says, you deserve this as much as I do. That honestly could have gone either way. That last minute flurry of offense by Brooks, enough to put him over the line against a very game and very competitive world-class Chris Basso. My God, Paul Roberts, I just... Wow. can't believe it, Sean. There are wrestling matches that I have called that will stay with me for the rest of my life. That was one of them. Absolutely. The C4 tournament continues. Adam Brooks, as I said, the clear advantage. Four points in his column. That's right, two points each for the weapon. Mike Boomer and world-class Chris Basso and James Gray still to get out of the gate. But there are many more rounds yet to go before the decision is made as to who will be our inaugural, well, our inaugural even, Emerald Crown Champion. Oh, well, absolutely. The two men with the most points at the end of the tournament will go one-on-one, -on -one, and the winner will become the first ever Emerald Crown Champion. Oh, can you imagine if it's Brooksy and Basso again? Again? Wow! I'm looking forward to it, Sean! 
so much more to look forward to. We're only halfway through Riot City Wrestling's Eye for an Eye.